My name is Erin Cubley, and I'm a junior here at UNH, and I'm a member of the UNH Frisbee team. You have seven players on each line, and you're going to try to throw the disc, this is a disc, um, to players on your team. But when you throw it to them, they can't move. They have to remain stationary and try to throw it to the next person. And you work your way down the field, and you try to get what we call um, a point. And that's where there's kind of like an end zone, and you get in the end zone. My name's Denise Monahan. I was hired here at the University of New Hampshire in uh, 1986. And in 1987, I started overseeing the men's and women's volleyball clubs. Um, in addition to my primary task was intramurals. But I think it was uh, probably in 1989 or 1990 that um, the director of campus recreation pretty much reformatted uh, the responsibilities in the department. And at that point, uh, she asked me to assume the responsibility or role as, as director of the sport club program. The philosophy behind sport clubs is they're student initiated and student run for the most part. Uh, we never said it would be neat to have a men's rugby club, let's start it. We waited until a group of students came to us and said, can we start a men's rugby club? And, you know, and then we started asking the questions, well, how many students are interested? Uh, we like to see a minimum of 15 students interested. Um, it's always helpful if they have some sort of governing body, whether it's regional or national, that they can join and get involved in competitions or, or such. Um, that's always beneficial. Um, it's, we require all sport clubs to have a non-peer coach or advisor, somebody that's a minimum of three years removed. Again, it's student-led, so the students determine how serious they want to be, how competitive they want to be, how much they want to travel, or if they just want to be recreational. Um, if you're really dedicated to the sport, um, we have track practices, um, pick up like three times a week. Um, the girls have girls practice, the guys have guys practice, and then we come together for co-ed practices as well. But if you really, if you really laid back, um, probably like 50% of the team is like that, and um, they don't really come to practice that much. It's kind of, kind of that kind of a sport. Why is the Ultimate Frisbee team not a club sport? Well, I've been here since 1986, and I can remember back in the late 80s it was a recognized sport club specifically why it got dropped. I don't know whether it was a lack of interest or maybe some sort of sanction because of a policy violation. And I wouldn't want to give you the wrong information. So I just know that it was dropped as a recognized sport club. Well, it dates back to the early 1990s um, when the UNH team was called SOUL, which stood for Sweating Out Liquor. And pretty much this team was just a, a really, really wild team. And they would have practices with kegs. Um, you know, they would have their, they'd go to a tournament totally, totally sloshed. And UNH um, just kind of got fed up with it and took away their club status after some big party weekend. And that was, that was about like 10 years ago. So no one, um, that was on Seoul is here now. But where we're at right now as sport clubs is we're pretty saturated. Uh, we have limited resources, both physical and uh, financial. So we haven't been bringing any new sport clubs into the program for the last couple years. Um, we feel like until we can offer the, every club the same thing, storage space, the administrative support that every other club gets, and eventually the financial support that the other sport clubs get, um, and practice area, both fields, indoor and outdoor. Um, we don't think it's fair to bring any new sport clubs on. Pretty much the reason they give us now is that they don't want to give us field space, um, which is kind of ridiculous, I think, that we have to, that we can't be an organized sport for our university just because they don't want to give us time to practice. And if we practice, if we're practicing, say, on Memorial or Bremner, if a varsity team comes or another club team comes and wants to use that, even though they hadn't signed up for it, we have to get off the field since we're not an actual club sport. And that really um, just hurts, hurts our playing and hurts our practice. When we moved to this new building, um, 
1995 we had 13 sport clubs. Uh, we currently have 27 sport clubs. So now you kind of have an idea of why we say we're maxed out in regards to, to space and resources. Um, when we built this facility, we thought, you know, this is awesome. You know, we had storage, we had everything, equipment for the students, but, you know, it's, it's become too small. We've outgrown this area. Um, none of the clubs are 100% uh, funded. They all do some sort of fundraising. And any new clubs that are brought on, um, for the first two years, they receive no financial support. They have to kind of make their own way. Um, but after that initial two years, they're eligible to uh, request funding from the Department of Campus Recreation. So, you know, it, with that said, that they have to fit into our budget needs. Okay. We, we do do fundraisers. Okay. We actually made um, a calendar um, this fall, uh, which was really fun, really fun for the team, really good bonding activity. And we also made um, kind of like drink glasses, should we say, for the team. And so when we go to tournaments, we sell these calendars and these glasses and frisbees. We can also make our own personal frisbees and sell them for, for money. But we don't really get that much. We got like 200 from the calendar sales. And each tournament is around like $350. So, I mean, and that comes from our own pocket. I'm not quite sure of the actual date, um, but I know that the university was it was one of the first to have a club team, a college club team. So it's kind of sad that our university doesn't support us when we were one of the first universities to have a club team. I don't know. I, I think we're a pretty pretty solid team right now. We um, we have a lot of upperclassmen and a lot of lot of young talent. So I think um, we're gonna we're gonna do pretty well this yeah. season. I think just the biggest thing is with Frisbee is just to have fun and just really be laid back and a lot of people you know get too serious about it and I feel like it's just the kind of a sport and the, the people in the sport just have the mentality and the mindset of just being really laid back and going with the flow but for me anyway that's my mindset. Yeah so okay. what have you done so far basically to, um, to try and establish as a club again? So pretty much we've just uh, tried to like keep our record clean because of our past history eight years ago and I think every year we've just reapplied for our club status and they keep denying us so we're trying our hardest to get it. Well they've I think this will be the second possibly the third year that they submitted a request to become well, su submitted a request for recognition as a sport club program. Um, I want to say last year I met with a young man who happened to be a senior but you know, it was really had a lot of questions. How do we go about doing this? How do we prove ourselves as a reputable group? And I don't know if it's if that's the question as much as what I said before. I keep repeating it, but it's resources, limited resources. They keep denying us because um, the truth is there's not enough field space for all the club sports, and so they don't want to have to give us field space. So if we, we become a club, they're going to have to give us field space. Because right now we don't have guaranteed time. Do you think there's like a biased opinion against the ultimate frisbee team? No. Not at all. Maybe. I feel like I feel like some people think that frisbee is for like the dirty hippies, the tree huggers. <laughs> Whether it's on the road or hosting home home tournaments here, um, I think they're you know just as committed as any other group of athletes. So I, I think it's a viable group. We have a good mix. I feel like we have a lot of serious people. Um, we do. We do have a lot of hippies. We do a lot of crazy things. We wear skirts to you know practices and tournaments, and we dress up a lot. And but it's fun. It's more more just fun and being silly and not being serious about life. Like I said before, I just feel like in high school, um, I was just really sick of competitive sports. And so Frisbee was kind of an outlet for me just to have fun while still being part of a team and having that like team bond and getting to know people really well and having team dinners and going to tournaments and um, just having, having fun. I know that sounds kind of childish, I guess, but um, I think it's really important to have that kind of outlet in college.